guys, we're just having a walk down into Flamborough. It's a lovely day, the sun's shining, it's not too hot here. There's a lovely cool breeze which really helps. So we're just going to have a walk down the lane from the campsite. And get <laughs> fish and chips. Andy wants fish and chips so he's off on the fish and chip shop hunt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll have a trek down and see what we can find in Flamborough town. So just as you walk down the track from the campsite, you get such an amazing view over the sea because it comes round three sides with being right on the end being the headland. Every which way almost that you look, you can see the sea. And we love to be able to see the sea. So we've made it into a little town. So we've just come across this. This is a puffin and it's part of the Coasty Puffin Trail, which runs down the whole of East Yorkshire. Looks brilliant. The sea lions painted on it and the puffins up at the top. And just behind there, there's a mast. So I'm not sure if you can see it. The mast was commissioned 1st of January 2000 by the Parish Council to commemorate the maritime history of Flamborough. So this is a little bit about the Flamborough lifeboat. As I said in previous vlogs, we do like the lifeboats and it is one of our favourite charities. in and he's just been to the bar I asked him just for a soda water because it's kind of hot today and look what he's brought me this is an espresso martini it really doesn't look like soda water in fact it's not just one it's two I think he's trying to get me drunk so I found the chip shop there's two chip shops on the same row but apparently this is the better one. It's the Lighthouse Fisheries of Flamborough. Just found just at the back of the chip shop, they've got a heating area, which is perfect to sit and eat our fish and chips. Abby's is getting a bit excitable because she likes a bit of fish, don't you Abby? You like a bit of fish. So I've got a lovely little seating area here. There's a little bit in the shade down here, which I think where we're going to sit with Abby because it gets a bit too warm for her. So we'll sit in here. So I've just noticed as well, that even if it's a bit chilly, they've got heaters on the wall above the tables. So you can come here in winter and still sit outside and enjoy your fish and chips. A little sand between the toes always takes away the woes. Nothing like being at the seaside. Here it comes. Fish and chips. So the fish and chips has landed. Look at that. Mm. Oh, are you excited love? You've yes, got I'm excited at all. Wow. <laughs> so I've got to say guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. It's like Oh, the curry sauce. It's this, one of the best curry sauces I've ever had. And the chips are lovely. And the batter's light and crispy, just how it should be. So then, um, I just lick the fingers really nice. 
Where's your fish? Is it good? Very yeah, nice, yeah. We've recommended it to this uh, fish shop. I think they did well, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Well, I think this is probably the hilliest campsite I've ever been on. All the bell tents. There's also a couple of pods on the left hand side. I'm not sure they're open at the moment. I know they've not got the showers open this year, which are in the grey building over there. Then you just come into Puffin Meadow. And at the top end here, on the top end of the sides, are electric pitches. Then all the rest, all the rest is non-electric. You can pretty much park where you want on the non-electric. I'm hoping you can tell from this how hilly the site is, because I've never ever stayed on such a hilly site. But it is a lovely site. It's very peaceful very quiet and it's got lovely views you can see quite a long way you can see right down to the Flamborough lighthouses over the sea so it's very nice I think the weather's helping as well and we're just over there, Andy's already made it back, he's beat me as usual. As you can see, we've actually parked sidewards on the pitch. Andy says I've got to tell you how good he did at reversing it into the pitch between the two vans at either side of us. Um, but it is a very wide pitch, they're 8 metres by 8 metres is each, each one, so good sized pitches, plenty of space.